I'm gonna need you to pay close attention because what I'm about to tell you might just change your life. Now I know I like to be dramatic, I know, and that was definitely dramatic, I get it, but it's true, right? And what I'm about to tell you or what I'm about to talk about is the AI revolution, more specifically, chat GPT. What it is, but also more importantly, how you can use it to become a better content creator, to grow your influence and to earn more money. So if that sounds of interest to you, which I mean, I'm guessing it does, like who doesn't wanna hear that information, then keep on listening because this video is gonna be a good one. Also, if you are new here, hi, welcome, my name's Jade, so lovely to have you. Please hit the subscribe button because I upload new content like this every single week. Now I have a confession to make. Someone DM'd me about chat GPT a while back and was like, hey Han, when are you gonna do a video on this? And I was like, eh, <laughs> I don't know, one day, but I'm not, I'm not feeling it at the moment. Let me tell you, I had to change my tune so, so quick because oh my God, has chat GPT blown up. But also the way that people are using chat GPT has massively expanded. And actually it's made me realize that there are so many opportunities for us as content creators and business owners to use this new tool to save time and earn more money, right? So you might be wondering, hold on a minute, pull back, what is ChatGPT? Well, in order for me to explain that, let me first talk about a little known thing called AI. AI, also known as artificial intelligence, is basically another term for machine learning. Have you ever seen those movies where like robots get really smart and then they take over the world? That's kind of what AI is. <laughs> We're talking about programming machines so that they can learn from their own behaviors. And the result of that are platforms like ChatGPT, which is essentially a chat function where you can speak to a machine, to your computer, ask it questions, and it will respond with some very intelligent answers. But not only that, it will actually learn from the previous answers that it's given you, so that it is continuously becoming smarter and smarter and getting ready to take over the world. The last bit is kind of a joke. <laughs> but not really. <laughs> so the goal of chat GPT is to create human-like responses when you engage with it. So you can have a full-on conversation with chat GPT and it will feel like you're speaking to another human. Try to think of it like a really, really smart mate, like incredibly intelligent person who is really, really quick at responding to your WhatsApps. Like that is what chat GPT is. Now at the moment, this is a completely free resource, right? We can use chat GPT for free. You might be wondering why why? Why is this free? Well, I personally believe it's because they're gearing up to charge people for it. So what they're doing is they're making us all heavily reliant on it so that when they turn around and say, ha, it now costs £4,000 a month to use it. I'm hoping that's not how much it's going to be. We're all going to be like, well, guess we better go find four grand <laughs> because by that point we'll be so reliant on the function. And you might be thinking, Jade, I can't imagine myself ever being that reliant on this AI chat GPT thing. I'm willing to bet that by the end of this video, you're gonna change your tune and you're gonna be like, my gods, how have I not been using this already? So let's talk about how it actually works. And the first example I wanna give you, I think is really fitting. I'm gonna type into chat GPT, what is chat GPT? And you're gonna see chat GPT respond to me explaining who exactly they are. Is it weird to, I'm, I'm referring to them as an actual human now, so I'm not sure if I'm taking it too far. So when I asked chat GPT, what is chat GPT? They said, I am chat GPT. <laughs> God, <laughs> sounds like a rap song. A large language model developed by OpenAI. I have been trained on a massive corpus of text data using deep neural network, ooh, techie, which allows me to understand and generate natural language responses to a wide range of questions and topics. I am designed to mimic human-like conversation and provide helpful, informative, and sometimes even humorous responses to people's queries. So let me draw up ChatGPT now and let me actually give you a quick run through of how to use the platform because it's very easy to use, right? So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is type in chat.openai.com. That is the URL for ChatGPT, right? If you're new to this system, which I'm assuming you are, you're gonna see this page. It's gonna prompt you to either log in or sign up. Now, when you hit the sign up button, you'll be directed to a create your account page where you follow the normal steps that you follow when you create an account, right? You enter your email address, 
you pick a password, you might be able to do it just by integrating your Google or your Microsoft account. And then it will also ask you to verify your email address. And all you need to do in order to do that is to head over to your inbox and click a link to make sure that ChatGPT knows that you are in fact a real human. Now, the screen that you're now looking at is actually the homepage for my ChatGPT because I've obviously used it previously. So once you've created an account, you're gonna see something what looks like this. And essentially to start using this platform, it's super, super simple. You wanna type in your question, also known as an input, on this bar at the bottom. So let me write an example, how to become a content creator. Click enter and you're gonna see this screen appear and you're gonna to start to see ChatGPT generate a response. So here it's breaking down all the steps to follow to become a content creator and look how quickly it's doing it, guys like wild, right? And that's essentially how you use the platform on a very simplistic term. Now let's talk about how you can actually use ChatGPT to become a better content creator or entrepreneur. There's a bunch of different uses for this platform, but my favorite, favorite ones are as followed. First one is to write newsletters for your email list, right? So if you are a content creator and you have an email list and you send out email newsletters, which by the way, if you don't already, then I recommend watching this video because it will give you some tips to get started with that whole project, right? So let's say you write newsletters on a weekly or a monthly basis and you do not have the time to write said newsletters. Well, that is where chat G, oh my God. <laughs> I struggle so much to say chat G P T. I just don't, it doesn't roll off the tongue for me. So apologies if I keep on messing up, but that is where that function is gonna come in. You can use chat G P T to come up with ideas for your newsletters and also to write your newsletters. So let's do this as a quick example. I know I've already got a conversation open, but I'm going to head to the new chat button to create a new chat and ask chat G P T to help me with some ideas for my newsletter. So newsletter ideas for content creators and here we're going to wait a little while and we're going to start to get some ideas i can never i will never get over how quickly it does this so the first idea is content creation tips and tricks industry news and trends case studies success stories tools and resources interviews with experts best oh my god this is wild best practices and guidelines reader feedback i mean it is absolutely insane like look look how much it's just given me it's also worth noting that you can click this button which says regenerate response and what it's going to do is answer that question in a different way so it's going to give you different answers so now i'm seeing behind the scenes tips and tricks q a exclusive content i mean and the list goes on so we've done the first step we've asked chat gpt to give us some ideas for a newsletter what's the next step I'm gonna stop generating because it seems like it has an endless amount of ideas, right? So I'm gonna click that button to stop generating. Now that I've done that, I'm now gonna send a new input because I want ChatPT to actually write the newsletter for me, right? So now I'm gonna say, please write a newsletter for content creators about Instagram updates. Just like that, it's already started to write the newsletter for me. It's saying, dear content creators, as a content creator, you probably already know how important Instagram is for reaching your audience and growing your brand. That's why it's essential to stay up to date with the latest updates and changes to the platform. Here are some recent updates you should know about. That literally like, it gives me like chills reading that because I'm like, that's literally what I would have written. It's just wild and look how quickly it did it. And now it's broken down a bunch of different recent updates that Instagram have released and it's very nicely formulated it in a very easy to read, engaging news newsletter. Now you can even give feedback on it to make it even better, right? So you can even respond saying, please add humor to the newsletter. So now it's rewriting it and it's adding some humor to it. So you're changing its tone of voice. So now it's saying, are you ready to hear about the latest Instagram updates? Don't worry, there's no need to panic. It's not like they're going to add a new algorithm that makes your content invisible to your followers again. So let's get into the fun stuff. It's blowing my mind. Like, how is it doing that? Ah, so anyway, if you see something very similar to this, be emailed out to you guys, mind your business. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> but how intelligent is that? Like how incredible. And you can continue this process of providing feedback on the answers that it's giving you until you get to the point where it's really right for you and your brand. So that is a very in-depth example of how you can use ChatGPT to write newsletters, but there are other ways that you can use it to become a better content creator too. So some other ways that you can use it include asking ChatGPT to create legal documents or templates 
now do this at your discretion I still recommend having a lawyer look over things but if you need to very quickly generate terms and conditions for a giveaway that you're doing you can ask chat GPT to do that for you right in addition to that you can also get chat GPT to write things like your captions you can ask the platform to generate YouTube or content ideas for you you can also ask the platform to write prompts for your content too last but certainly not least you can ask the platform to write things like copy for your websites should that be something that you are creating as part of your business or as part of you being a content creator so as you can see the possibilities really are endless but now let's talk about some of the pitfalls that comes with the platform and also some things to avoid doing to make sure that you're using the platform in the best way possible so some of the limitations that come with chat gpt include the following i'm actually reading this from their website right so may occasionally generate incorrect information and a really good example of this is when i was just showing you how you could use chat gpt to write a newsletter my input into chat gpt was to write a newsletter about instagram's recent updates the output included some updates that were a bit stale so things like reels remixes that's been around for a while it even referenced igtv as one of their existing features which obviously has not existed for a little while either so just keep in mind that it's not always going to be completely accurate in addition to that it may occasionally produce harmful instructions or biased content and also it has limited knowledge of the world and events after the year 2000 2021 so I'm sure that will be updated or is being updated as we speak so with those things in mind here are some pitfalls to avoid when you're using chat GPT first one do not become too heavily reliant on the platform it's a really great tool for coming up with ideas and even writing the base of your copy for things like newsletters or blog posts but there is a limit in the example that I shared previously the newsletter that chat GPT wrote for me wasn't very up to date and I wouldn't know that the information included included in that newsletter wasn't up to date if I wasn't ensuring that I was up to date with everything going on in my field right so don't use chat GPT as a replacement for you being an expert in your niche you still need to be an expert so that you can effectively look at what chat GPT has created for you evaluate and make changes to it if you need to right you'll be able to very quickly see who is using this function and not actually an expert because they will be the people who will be sharing incorrect information from time to time because they don't know enough to know that the information is even wrong in the first place the second thing to be wary of is your inputs into chat gpt so you remember your inputs are basically what you write into the, the platform your outputs are what you get back now in order to get the best outputs possible your inputs need to be strong and what that usually involves is writing very specific questions making sure that if they are location specific you are mentioning the location avoid sharing anything that could be remotely vague the more specific your questions are or more specific your inputs are the better your outputs will be third one be sure to add your own tone of voice remember that you your personality is what makes you so special right make sure that you're not using this system so much that you actually end up removing any of your authentic self from the content that you create yes it's great for research giving you prompts etc but make sure you're always injecting you into your content otherwise it's going to fall flat and it's going to come across as stale the final thing to be wary of is that when you're having a conversation with chat gpt it will actually use your previous inputs to inform its outputs so an example of this would be if you are having a conversation with chat gpt and you told chat gpt that the earth was flat right if you told chat gpt that the earth was flat if you then ask them is the earth flat in a follow-up question it will respond saying yes because you just told it that it's flat so it's learning from your conversation a way to avoid this is to start a new chat right so it won't hold on to what you've said if you've started a new chat but if you're in a conversation with it it will learn from the previous things that you've told it that's actually part of the reason why it works so well because it's always learning right okay so that is chat gpt i would love to know if you're going to start using it but i also want to know if you want more content from me all about chat gpt right let me know in the comments section of this video if you feel like hanging around i recommend watching this video it is all about the exact steps you should follow to make one thousand dollars per month as a content creator thank you so much for listening as always can't wait to see you in my next video